There are certain things in the business of the school that I just always forget to do. And one of them is, in the heat of a lesson, to remember to collect in the homeworks from the students. And it'd be a wonderful world when the students remember to hand in their own homeworks. But in my world, it doesn't always happen. I need to remind them. And if I forget, then I don't get the homeworks in and they end up coming in over the next couple of lessons. It's all a bit messing. It ends up costing me more time in the long run. So what I've come up with is a way to link my Notion homeworks table via Zapier into my Outlook email. So I receive an email at the time the homework's due. So at the start of that lesson, I get the email in telling me that the homework's due to be collected that lesson. And then at some stage in that lesson, I'm almost guaranteed to check my emails for something. Uh, I'll see the email top of the inbox there telling me collect that homework, and then I'll remember to do it for the lesson. Much, much tighter in the long run because I'm not then gathering in those homeworks and trying to keep track of them as they come in over the next couple of days. So let's see, look, I've got this set up uh, from my homeworks database in Notion, right in via Zapier, via Zapier's app, into uh, an Outlook email. Very, very simple use and application of uh, this of Zapier to, to do the legwork and the remembering for us you know, that we can then focus on delivering better lessons. So let's jump in there uh, and just think, look at this from a perspective of anything you've got to remember on any sort of schedule, uh, what a good way of doing it. Uh, especially if maybe the homework, one day, one week you might collect the homework in on a Tuesday, the next week you might collect it in on a Wednesday or Thursday. Well, depending on what day you set as the homework due date is the day and the lesson that you'll receive this email on. So it works fantastic. Let's jump in, I'll show you right now. Okay, so what we've had here is that I've got a homework set to my example class on subtraction. Here we can see that homework in here in my Notion table. Judy, I was set. This homework was set four days ago. It's due today at 14.36. At 14.36, this email has popped into my inbox. Reminder, collect in example class maths homeworks on subtraction is the title is set on the 14th of November, all auto-generated into this email. Brilliant. And look, the students in the lesson may say, oh, we don't know about that homework, sir. Well, then included in the email is the link, which is in my homeworks database. Now, in this case, it links through to the YouTube channel, but you could have that linked to the homework task and whatever homework task management system that you have in your old workspace. Uh, and we just click on that link, display this at the front of the room, and the students then can't have any hey. students then can't have any questions about what the homework was all about. Super valuable. Uh, now let's look at how we've got this built, this setup in Zapier to bridge between the example class homeworks database in Notion. Uh, and to produce this Outlook email, which you can send to any email address. And as, as you see there, I'm sending it to my Notion for Teachers email address, but you can send it to any email address that you, that you need. Let's jump in and we'll have a quick look. So this is a app that now reminds me, when I look in my inbox, I've got the email set right at the very top of my inbox, shh, reminding me to collect in that homework, okay? Very, very quickly, it's quite similar to last week's video, where it was the reminder to the students to complete and, and submit their homework. Now we're looking at the trigger now as a new database item in Notion. It's the same database item, okay? Is the homework continue? It's linked to my Notion account, obviously. Uh, in this case, I've linked it to my example class homeworks uh, database, which is this one here in my Notion workspace, example class homeworks database, there it is. Okay, you would link it to your homeworks database. But there it is, continue. And the trigger item, test trigger, this is just where Zapier goes into that database and finds an example. Uh, it's all there. Okay then, okay then, come down into the delay. Okay, so we are gonna delay this. We're gonna delay the app. We don't want to remind ourselves, because we don't wanna remind ourselves to collect in the homework as the new database item is set in Notion, is created in Notion, because then you're gonna be reminded to collect it on at the moment you set it. We need to delay that reminder until the homework's due. Okay, so by setting, when we set the homework in Notion like this, we'll come in, we'll say uh, addition, if you're maths, that's fine, and we'll set it today, the 18th. Well, I would then come in and I'd say, right, that homework's gonna be due, I'm set it the 18th, I'm gonna set it, I'm gonna collect that homework in at 0900 
in the lesson 0900 a week from today okay so that's my due date time due 25th of november nine o'clock in the morning okay and what that would then mean is that database item would trigger would delay sending my reminder to myself to collect in the homework until that daytime okay and um, whenever zapier is processing that particular edition homework that would then say tw 25th of november 0900 okay and if it, once that time is met then the the zap would continue working okay so we'll skip that test for now because i've already tested it it does work i'm gonna go down i'll continue i'm gonna send an email i'm gonna send an email to ourselves at that point okay so my outlook account um and i'm gonna send this just as for now i'm gonna send it to my notion for teachers email account but you can send that to your own personal email account that works absolutely fine and I'm going to, the, the subject of the email is to collect in the example class maths homework. It's going to look like this, collect in example class maths homework there. Um, and I want it to tell me the title and the date it was set. Okay, so I can then stand in front of the students and say, right, your homework's due in today. You had your reminder 48 hours ago. Um, your title of the homework is uh, DFM, Edexcel, whatever it is. And it was set to you on the 5th of October or whatever the date is that it was set okay that same detail is in the body of the email as well what i've also got there just in case students are like hang on we don't remember that homework what does it look like well then i can click here and i can say right well your homework looks like and in this case i've linked to the youtube channel um hey. but it's there and that can be linked to anything so why wouldn't you link it to the exact task in your homework management system so whenever you click on the link in front of the class the students can all see that okay and it's all built in there the body format type is html uh, and the body of the email is reminder to collect in homework let's see what these look like side by side so we've got reminder to collect in homework as per following details there it is in the body of the email reminder to collect in homework as per following details the title of whatever that homework was is there in the body okay just a little note, these signs of the BR, that's a break line, so that's a new, that's like a return in your in the body. You can see that I've, there's a double return. The property date set starts, that's the date the homework was set, 5th of October 2022 is in there. And then there's a link to the task in Firefly, if that's what you use to manage your homework tasks, it is for me. I could click on that in front of the class and the class and then be able to see the details in the homework. All right, we'll click continue on that. That's great. We don't need to insert any other details. Uh, retest the action. Let's see, I'll just hide that one. We see this pop into my inbox here on the right hand side. There it is. It's the same task because it's that's the one that Zapier in this occasion has pulled in to test this app. But there it is, okay. That is that task, that homework task. Reminder sent to myself, I'll see that. Collect in example class, maths homework. It's at the top of my inbox. I found that personally, my email inbox is one thing I'm absolutely guaranteed to check. No matter what's happening in the lesson, at some stage, I'll check the email inbox just to see if there's anything else that's come in. And that's what I will do. So I'll publish that zap. I publish and turn it on. All right. okay all right i hope that was super useful and um, there you can see just if there's anything in, in our day that we need to remember on a particular schedule so if we send those homeworks on for different days maybe the same day we can have those linked to that notion table so that we receive an email um, on that day that we need to collect in the homeworks and that for me is working a treat at the moment because i know at some point in the lesson i'm going to check my email address or email account just see if anything's come in, and I will then remember to collect in the homeworks. You've been watching Notion for Teachers. I'm Andrew. Hit subscribe and the bell icon. You'll be notified when I'm dropping new videos as often as I possibly can. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again very, very soon.